Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. Okay, as you can see, I already have the clear stiletto tips on. I'm just going to cut with some scissors just the tip. And I'm going to be using Nova Inks Clear Acrylic and Nova Inks Kalinsky Brush Number 8. This acrylic brush is completely sold out. I'm waiting for the next shipment. As soon as it's in, I will announce, but it usually takes two to three weeks. So in about two weeks, I should have it again. So I'm just putting a very thin layer of clear acrylic on the pointer finger because we're going to add a, a glitter acrylic on top of that. And on the rest of the nails, I'm going to just sculpt them with clear acrylic. It's very easy with these tips since they're perfectly shaped. Um, they, don't, um, they don't point down like any other regular tip would. They're stiletto tips, but they, they're straight. It looks as if you sculpted them. So it makes our job easier. I will have more in my online store Friday in the evening. So the store is going to open in the evening. So just be on the lookout for that. Okay, now with the clear acrylic, I just keep sculpting over the tip. These tips are wonderful because the shape's already there. You really don't need to do much. Now I'm going to use this color, Hollywood Boulevard. It's by Easy Flow. The collection is called Boogie Nights. I've seen them online. Um, this one was a gift a very long time ago, but I have seen them online. So if you want to look for them, just um, Google that the name of that collection. Boogie Nights by Easy Flow. Okay, I applied a thin layer of clear acrylic to the nail before. The reason that I did that in the beginning is so it can dry. And usually when you use any acrylic that has pigments in it or it has glitters in it it's very hard to remove when you want to soak off the nails or remove your nails so that's the reason why I put a thin layer of clear acrylic it's just like a barrier a protection to your natural nail so it, the glitter won't stick on there too much and or the pigment won't um, you know stain your natural nail okay so as you can see, I did clear acrylic on the rest of the nail. The only one was the pointer finger with that glitter acrylic. I filed, I buffed, and now I'm removing all the excess dust. It's very important to remove the, the dust very well under the nails, everywhere. And then I'm spraying rubbing alcohol on all the nails, under the nails. I clean them. As you can see, I wipe under, over. You need They need to be very, very clean for any next step because if we don't do that we leave some dust on there our polish is gonna chip off or the rhinestones aren't gonna adhere correctly so it's very important that we start with a very very clean canvas okay all right now as you can see I'm using this I I don't know what the correct the proper name of it I just call it smoked nails because that's what it looks to me so I don't even know if that's the correct term but that's what I personally just call them smoked um, like a smoked effect and I have a video I'm going to link I'm gonna leave you the link in the description box of how I made this polish if you're interested and if you want to do it it's very easy so I'm gonna put the link to that video down in the description box for you guys so I put two layers as you can see this is the second layer of the polish I'm only putting it in the middle finger and the ring finger I love the effect that this gives it just it looks once it's dry and then I matte it I put a matte polish over that so it, it looks very classy and elegant to me now for the pinky and the thumb I'm using this fantasy nails polish you can use any other polish just make sure that you know it dries correctly I, this is just the polishes that I have at hand I purchased all my fantasy nail polishes in Mexico but I will leave a link down in the description box of where else you can purchase them here in the USA okay all right um, I like these polishes because they have very good coverage just with one coat now I'm gonna put just the drop right here on my little paper that I had at hand and I'm just gonna do with the French brush I'm just going to put little polka dots all over that ring ring finger that's why I love the French brush because it has this on the other end so it has two uses to it remember this length I choose it because I want you guys to really appreciate the design but you can change that up this is just an idea that I'm you know that I'm giving you you can make them shorter you can make them completely stiletto or you can make them round square 
short, medium, long, however you want. It's just an idea, you know, change it up and make it your own. And if you recreate them, don't forget to hashtag me on Instagram. Just hashtag Nova Nails Inc. And I make sure and I check them all out. I love checking checking your designs out. So, so I'd really appreciate that. Okay, now I'm just putting a matte polish over all the nails except the pointer finger where we applied the glitter except that one. As you can see, they're already matte. You just have to wait till they're completely dry before you put the matte polish. That's very important, please. Just wait till they're dry, then apply the matte polish. All right, I did this 3D bow, and I'm going to show you guys in a video how to do that one. It, it'll be a video after I upload this one, I'll upload that one. And now I just glued that um, bow on with resin. Now the pointer finger, I'm adding UV shine. I put it in the lamp to cure two minutes, and now I'm gonna do Simple 3D petals on the middle finger with this black acrylic. I personally had the organic one at hand, but you can use any black acrylic that you have, okay? So as you can see, I just put the bead of acrylic. You wait until the shine goes away, and then that's when you come in with your 3D brush. I will have some 3D brushes in my online store. I only have like five, four or five of them, so be on the lookout for those, okay? Um, as you can see, I put the bead and then I press, I open it side to side, then I drag that little point there. The, the trick for 3D is that you have to wait. You can't just put the bead and then press it with the brush right away because it's too wet and you're just going to make a mess. So you have to wait. As you can see, I wait a little bit until the shine starts going away from, from the acrylic. It starts kind of getting opaque. That's when you go and you press because that's when it's ready for it to be molded. Okay, and I just did the same petals all over and then I just put that little um, bead and I, with the point of the 3D brush I just went in and made kind of like a little hole in it and I'm just you know it's it's not in any specific order I'm just kind of filling it out I wanted it to be big and get smaller that's all I did it's very simple now I have these AB Swarovski I have a big one two, two medium and two small um, they're AB Swarovski crystals I'm using Nova Inks resin and this wax pencil. I put the medium and the small on the pinky. On the middle finger, I put the small one. And on the thumb, I'm putting the big one and the medium one. And this is it. Um, be on the lookout. I'm gonna upload the video of how I made that 3D bow if you're interested. That's, that's it. I hope you like this design. I fell in love with this design and many of you loved it on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, the links are down in the description box. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love all of you guys. My online store opens this Friday, March 6th in the evening. So don't miss out. Be on the lookout for that. I will announce on Instagram once it's open. Thank you for watching and live to inspire.